Now we'll discuss another concept that is graph of a function and its slope. We have studied about normal explicitly defined functions as y is equals to f of x. For each value of x, there exists a particular value of y. Now, if we just draw the graph in x and y axis, keeping x axis as representing variable x and y axis as a representation of variable y. For a particular value of x, we get a particular value of y. We can plot a curve correspondingly, say between two points A and B. At different different values of x, we'll get different different values of y. And after joining all the points corresponding to the values of x and y, we get the curve. This curve we simply call as curve or graph of this function y is equals to f of x. In this curve, for a particular value of x, we get a value of y. If we change the value of x, y will also change. Say, if we change x slightly to x plus dx. At this value, corresponding value of y will be y plus dy. This we already studied at the time of discussion on differentiation, that on changing value of x slightly, we get slight change in value of y, that is dy. Now say earlier this was the point P at a value of x. If we change the value of x, this P will slide to another point Q. Now in this graph, if we draw a tangent at point P, if we draw the tangent of graph at point P, so if this tangent makes an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis, then this theta we call slope angle at point P. And if we take the tangent of this angle theta tan theta, we call it slope of function y is equals to f of x at P. This slope, this is a very important term, first time you are studying this, but later you will be very much habitual of using this function, uh, the slope of a function. Now, if we carefully have a look on this sliding line from P to Q, here the value of P is changing by dx, corresponding change in y is dy. If we talk about this angle, this is also theta, which is the slope angle. Here in this small triangle, if you carefully see, so you can see here the value of tan theta can be written as dy by dx. Sometime it is also represented by the letter small m, which we again call slope. The slope of function or slope of graph at point P. So you have to be very careful about slope. Slope of a function can be determined by using tangent of the angle theta, which Tangent of curve at a point makes with the positive direction of x axis, or it can be directly determined by differentiating the function with respect to x at this point P. Let's discuss the slope of increasing and decreasing function. We have studied that the slope, slope of a function can be given by tan theta or it can be given by dy by dx. So, if we talk about an increasing function, increasing means on substituting the values of x or on increasing the value of x, the value of y also increases. Such a function we call an increasing function. Similarly, we can also draw a graph of decreasing function, where on increasing the values of x, the value of y decreases. Here you can see, if we increase the value of x, the value of y is decreasing. Such a function we call decreasing function. Now, if we draw a tangent at any point of such a curve, you can see the angle theta which the tangent makes with the x-axis is an acute angle. So, for an acute angle, if we find the value of tan theta or we find the value of dy by dx, Suddenly it comes out to be a positive value because tan of an acute angle is always positive. So always remember that for an increasing function the slope is positive. Now similarly for a decreasing function if we talk about tangent, so at a point if we draw the tangent, 
you can see it will make an obtuse angle. Say at point P, we are drawing the tangent of the graph. It makes an obtuse angle with the positive direction of x axis. If we find out the value of tan theta or dy by dx. Obviously, for obtuse angle, if we take the tangent, it will be a negative quantity. So, always remember that for a decreasing function, the slope is always negative. Or for an increasing function, it will always have a positive slope at every point of the increasing function. And on the contrary, in case of a decreasing function, at every point, the slope will be a negative quantity. So, always remember both of these things.